All right, guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you out the top 10 greatest teams in NBA 2K24 on Planet Online. The teams that you always see when you match up against your opponent, teams that you always see every time. It don't matter if it's for the money or they trying to rank up to the greatest of all time league. All right, number 10, which you see on the screen, is the 2005 Spurs. You got Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mino Ginobili, you got Bruce Bowen, you got Wobble Ori, you got Brent Barry, you got Nazem Muhammad. I don't think people use him anyway. <laughs> he kind of useless because a lot of people off ball. But you got Glenn Robinson, you got Ben, you got Benno. Of course, you got you got Tony. I don't know who that guy is. I, he looks fake to me. This guy right here, he looks mad fake. But don't worry about him. But anyway, this team, I'm putting them in the top top 10 list because this team is all around. You can put 10 Duncan at the five. You don't have to put him at the four. Some people do it if you're a casual, but if you want to stretch the floor, put him at the five because you got a, a same five three ball. Everybody like, yo, 10 Duncan shooting threes? Yeah, you can time me in this game. It's 2K, why not? Oh, 10 Duncan don't shoot threes. Yeah, he's shooting threes now. So you're going to need that. You got Tony Parker, you got Ginobili, all the three balls is high, so you can stretch the floor with them. You put Wobble all the way after four, and you're good to go. Next, you gotta go with the 2004 Lakers. I was gonna go with the 2001, but the reason why I went to, to 2004 Lakers because you got Gary Payton will lock up your favorite point guard. You got Kobe Bryant. You got Shaquille O'Neal still doing his thing, even though he fell off. You know, that year. You got Karl Malone. You know, I don't wanna get to that, man. You already know what time it is. You got Red Fox. You got Devin George coming off the bench. You got Horace Grant. This dude was like, what, 38? Ew, mad old. You got Byron Russell. You, you know, you, you got Derrick Fisher. Oh, this one, he was ball, yeah. And you got Brian Cook. Yeah, this thing all around, man. You could uh, stretch the floor, or you could put 3-2 two two freelance offense, or you could play the triangle offense. If you know how to use the triangle offense, a lot of people don't know how to use that freelance. But this thing is deadly, man. So I put them at number nine because, you know, they great team to use. People use that team more than 2001 Lakers, but, you know, you got to put them up there on the top top nine. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, number eight, you got to go with the Clippers because you got Kawhi Leonard, you got James Harden now going crazy. You got Paul George, you got Russell Westbrook, you got Zubak. Nah, he moved like an elephant in it. Not other thing, he moved like a turtle. I'm tripping. He moved like a turtle on the court. And you got Mason Plumlee. You got PJ Tucker. You got Norman Powell. I mean, Paul, Paul Well, whatever his name is. And you got Highland. The rest, uh, oh, you got Terrence Mann, too. Yeah. So, anyway, this team all around it, you cannot five out with this team because they, they big man, they center, cannot shoot a three ball that well. They cannot shoot at all. They got a mid range, but they can't shoot a three ball. So, Cause people so usually using James Harden to five out when he, when he was with the San Francisco because Embiid got a three ball that's high. But on this team, I don't think you could do that. But they still deadly though. You get able to lock up and then James Harden could score, he could pass the ball. So this team is, this is a super team right here, even though they older. But this is kind of like a super team because you got all the weapons you need, defense and offense. But they big man kind of trash and they suck. So that's the only thing, that's the only weakness they have on the Clippers. All right, number seven, you gotta go with the Suns because the reason why I put them at number seven over the Clippers is because at least you could file out with the Suns team with Nurkish, because Nurkish got an 83 ball, so you're able to time it. And you got Bobo, you could put him at the three. I mean, not put him at the three, you put him at the five and shoot three balls well, even though it's a 70, but they're gonna go out there once he get playing time. I don't know why the Suns don't play him that often, don't give him some minutes. It, it's weird to me. He's mad talented. But anyway, you got Durant, you got Devin Booker, his animation is great. Uh, you got Brady Bill. Like, this team is crazy, man. You can five out and they, the guys like to off-ball you, you could do that. So this team is crazy. You got Aaron Golden, they got a good bench too as well. Like, you got guys like Grayson Allen and things like that. So this team is lit, man. This is why I put them over the Clippers. I was gonna put the Clippers over the Suns, but it, 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 the reason why the, the, the Clippers don't go over the Suns because there's only one weakness as the center position and people will off ball probably like 85% of the time, especially if you're going against comp players. Next, you gotta go with the 2013 Heat. You got LeBron James, 98 overall, going crazy. He's OP as hell. You got Dwayne Wade still going still, still doing his thing, even though he's injured. You got Chris Bosch, he can stretch the floor, shoot the three ball, post up. 
You can play five bob with this team. You got Ray Allen. You got Chris Anderson. If you need some stops in the paint, you got Shane, you got Shane Battier. You got Mike Miller, the uh, the shop shooter. You got Mario Chalmers. I don't know why Mario Chalmers three balls at seventy. That's a mistake there. They gotta fix that. You got Joel and Anthony. That dude's ugly. Ugh. But you got um, Rashad Lewis. You know what I'm saying? But this team right here, like this team is so deadly. And, and crazy as well. You like, like I said, you could five by with them because a lot of guys like the off ball. So play with that team. They can play defense, offense. You can put Dwayne Wade on, on a point guard cheeses like Dame Dollar, Stephen Curry, uh, you know Drew Holiday. Who else? You, who else you got as a point guard? Oh, uh, uh, SGA, Shea Alexander, like guys like that. You could put Dwayne Wade on these guys. So. You will, you will have fun with this team if you will see the team the most. All right, number five, you got to go with the 96 Bulls. I thought that it would be like top two or top number one or three, but they really not. This year, they not, man. I try to put them in in the top five, even though they are in the top five, but they're not in the, they not in like in the top three or two because it's a lot of teams that's kind of better in the video game, not real life. Where people go like, oh, we you talking about 96 Bulls is, is the best team of all time. Not real life. I'm talking about in the video game wise. You know, the video game is all about the spacing. You, you know what I'm saying? So I got to put them at number five. I don't like it. It might sound disrespectful, but it's really not. But they really top five in, in 2K24. I don't know about the previous years in 2K, but this game right here, they top five. So I, I got to put them in there. Cause you got look, you got to go. Michael Jordan still doing his thing. You got Scotty Pippen, you got Dennis Rodman, you got Tony Kukoc, Warren Harper, Steve Curry, Luke Lonely. You know the the bench is high. But if you if you go up against a guy that's toxic, he gonna all ball with the '96 Bulls. So they kind of toxic in some degree. If you off ball, I don't off ball, so I don't need to do that. But the thing is that this team people, people use that team a lot, but not that often. So but if you get a chance to match up against this team. They become a problem, especially a toxic opponent. So don't sleep on this team. You can play with this team and be successful. Like Scottie Pippen, his jump shot is changed. It's faster now. You can easily time it and things like that. Michael Jordan, you got to put your shot on set point to make your jump shot faster with Michael Jordan because it changed in, in the past three years. And you got Tony Kuko. If you want to play small ball, put him at the four. You can put Dennis Rodman out at the five. You could do that. You don't have to have Luke Lonely. If, if you want to play big, if you match up with teams like the Bucks. Or the Lakers, you can put like Dennis Wobby at the four and Luke Lonely at the five if you want to pay big. Alright, number four, you gotta go with the Lakers, man. The Lakers are still a problem to this day, and they so cheese because you, you gonna you gonna be seeing people, especially in your opponent, they like putting LeBron James at point guard. Once you see that he's a cheeser or he'll try on. So this is why this Lakers team is a problem. And like they disrespect D'Angelo um, D'Angelo Russell. I don't know why. He's a point guard himself, but it's like, oh, they still playing LeBron at point guard. They still get disrespected. It's crazy. But you got Anthony Davis still doing his thing. He 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 one of the best two way centers. He can shoot a three ball. He go he can defend. He's a Giannis stopper. So that's why they use the Lakers because he's a Giannis stopper. Not I ain't mean stop him completely, but he could slow him down for cheesing, like paint matching and things like that. So you're gonna need a guy like Anthony Davis, and and you can file about with the Lakers. That's so deadly about them. You can run like a big man lineup and things like that. You can have D'Angelo Russell come off the bench and, and things like that. You got Christian Wood going crazy in real life. You got an 81 3 boy you can shoot. And you got Jay Vanderbilt. You know, he's injured for now, but when he gets back, that team make, um, that team's deadly. And you got, what's his name? Prince. Well, I don't know if people use Prince. You got Cam Reddish. You got Hines and things like that. Yeah, so this team is a problem. They're like, people use Lakers to for the tournament, and they they play with them to win money or some type of bet, like a one v one app or things like that. So a lot of people use the Lakers most of the time. All right, number three, you gotta go with the Bucks, man. This Bucks team is a problem. Ever since they added Dame Dollar, we're gonna get to that. But ever since they add him, this team is deadly. Could be four. When 2K24 first came out, nobody was playing with the Bucks like that. So ever since Dane Dollar joined the team, you start seeing a lot of Bucks now. Especially they play, they being toxic with Giannis. You know they off ball with Giannis, but they don't off ball with Brook Lopez. You know, you know, you know why. But yeah, this Giannis right here, seven foot, like he's seven feet. He got a seven foot wingspan. I thought he got a longer arms than that. 
But this dude right here is crazy, especially with a long, a long distance shooting with Dane Dollar. Like it, this ain't OP, man. All y'all do is want to pick a roll with with Damian Dollar, I mean Damian Litter and Giannis together. Just one pick and roll together. You can throw a lob. You can put up a jump shot in mid range. You can't stop that. Like it, it's like it's a two combo with these players. And you got Chris Middleton. You know uh, you got Brook Lopez. You got Bobby Portis. You know you got Payne, Malik Beasley, Crowder. Like this bench is loaded too, man. You telling me they're not gonna and they can't win a championship with this squad? I don't know what to tell you. This team is deadly, man. This team is a problem. I'm telling you. Number two, you got to go with the 2017 Golden State Warriors, man. This right here is a tough decision. I was going to put them number one, but I'm not too sure. It's really hard. Some people's opinion, they number one. Some people's opinion is number two, three. I don't know, man. I'm just making a list. I'm just making a list for fun. That's all that matters at this point. I'm letting y'all know what, time, what kind of team that you could use or you're going up again. So I had to put that number two. It was number one last year or I, I think two years, two years ago when I made a video. But this team's still a problem, man, especially Seth Curry. Oh, my goodness. This dude moves so damn fast. And you got Cam Durant. Don't get me started with Cam Durant. This dude right here is, is OP, especially to get him a gold bulldozer. Um, bulldozer, I don't know why. He, he's not even that strong like that. But you got Klay Thompson, the young Klay Thompson. You got Draymond Green. You know, you can put him at the five. You can get away with it. Shoot the three ball, stretch the floor. You can play five five with the team. Some people do it. Some people don't, don't do it. But most of the time, like, you see, you're going to see that once in a while when somebody put Draymond, Draymond Green at the center position along with Ikadala. They put Ikadala at the floor, so he's still the problem. You got a 783 boy he could defend. You got Javel McGee going crazy. Like, he's like a boule version of Will Chamberlain, but he's he, he'll get some stops as a big man because he's athletic. You got Zaza, he, he's a bum. Nobody cares. You got David West. He, he, like, David West could shoot a three ball with a 71. And you got Matt Barnes and, Lo and, and Looney. Looney's kind of trash. And you got Sean, what's his name? You got Sean Livingston. He, he's a 70 overall? What the hell? 70? And 2K tripping? But anyway, look, his three boys are 76. You could time it, but he, everybody knows that Sean Livingston don't have a three ball like that. So I don't know why 2K is capping. But anyway, this team is nice, man. You still, you still seeing this team to this day. They won the best team in the game. So you're going to see that team a lot too as well. Even though uh, I'm so far, like, like they don't even use their rank like that. Oh man, number one, you gotta go with the Celtics. This team right here is a 99 overall, man. You got everything you need. You got offense, you got defense, you can stretch the floor, you can play five out. You do you can do whatever you want, man. This team is a problem. Like, look at this right here, man. This, this no this is a complete super team that I've ever seen in my life. This is a super team right here. But I don't know if the overall gonna stay the same, but we'll see. But look at this. Like like Jason Tatum, he got a total badge of 54. And he got Jaden Brown, 32. Drew Holiday, 28. Like he'll lock up your favorite point guard. Then you gotta pull Zingas at 73. He could defend and shoot three. Post up. You could put him at the five. You could put him at the four. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter. And you got Derek White. He could defend too. He could defend and shoot threes. And, and he could and he got dribble moves. And you got Al Horford. So you play with this team, you're gonna see this team a lot. They kind of cheat, like especially if you're a toxic opponent. They could it could be very toxic. They could off ball whatever they want. You're gonna have a hard time being the CPU because of their defense is so elite, you can't even blow bottom. It's it, it's crazy, it's hard. 